Hello, I'm going to show you how to install XP staple fasteners using the XP hydraulic applicator tool. Let's begin. First, we're going to measure the belt thickness. If skiving, always measure the belt thickness after skiving. Using the XP fastener gauge, we're going to select the correct fastener for the belt thickness. Here, it's showing an XP5L, so we're going to choose an XP5L fastener. Next, we're going to determine how many fastener strips we need for the belt width. We're going to lay our fastener strips across the belt, making sure we have approximately 38 millimeter from the edge of the belt to the beginning of the first fastener strip. And then measuring on the other side. If needed, we'll go ahead and break off a shorter fastener strip for that belt width. Take your XP fastener strips and load them into the XP bed, centering it on the XP bed. If using XP lock, we're going to start from the right side of the bed. We're going to insert the fastener strips into the H holes. If the fastener strip fits tight, go ahead and grab a piece of scrap belt or a rubber hammer and hit the fastener strips down fully against the bed, loading the, the full strips first and any partial strips at the end. Then we're going to load the belt all the way against the belt stops, making sure we're centered from the edges of the belt to the edges of the fasteners. And then we're going to tighten the clamp bar fully against the belt, making sure we have even pressure with the clamp bar. To set the tool for the right belt thickness, we're going to adjust the belt thickness gauge using a piece of scrap belt or the actual belt from the conveyor. Since we're installing an XP5 fastener, we're going to set it on the side for XP3, XP5. We're going to loosen the lock knob, bring in your belt, and we're going to adjust it down against that belt without over tightening it. And then we're going to lock that lock handle back into place. To load the tool on the frame, we're going to make sure the handle is in the forward position, and then we're going to line the mounting brackets onto the bed rail. To move the tool freely on the bed, we're going to disengage the advance mechanism and raise the locking tab. It also helps to hold the back of the tool up when sliding it. And then to re-engage the advance mechanism, we'll lower the handle, which lowers the locking tab, which allows it to advance. Next, we're going to attach the hydraulic hoses to the hydraulic tool. Now we're going to turn on the power pack. The tool can be advanced by doing a quick advance, which is moving the handle partially, not actuating the hydraulics. And then to fully cycle the tool, we'll bring the handle all the way back, allowing it to cycle fully. You'll know that it's done cycling because the tool provides feedback in the handle. You'll see when I operate it, my handle will jerk forward telling me that it's fully cycled. And there I know it's fully cycled. Now I'm going to quick advance over to the first plate and then I'll begin the installation. Install a test sample when first using the tool to ensure it is set up correctly. You want the staple crown fully seated without over compressing the belt. Don't assume each belt end is the same thickness. If a problem occurs, such as a misdrive, we can quick advance over the next plate and then we'll want to install three to four plates
and then we'll slide the tool back before that plate that we skipped and we'll finish installing that plate and then we'll continue with the installation Now that the first belt end is complete, we'll repeat the same steps for the second belt end. After the second belt end is complete, we can turn off the power pack, and we can remove the hydraulic hoses by aligning the lock collar and pushing forward. Now that the installation of fasteners has been completed on both belt ends, we've gone ahead and notch the trailing edge of one belt end. We're going to bring the belt ends together, making sure the plates line up, and we're going to insert the hinge pin. Make sure you use your hinge pin retaining collars to prevent migration of the hinge pin. And that's how you install XP staple fasteners with the XP hydraulic applicator tool.